I'm going to briefly describe how to use an interactive simulation that models the evaporative cooling of water. The idea is we start with an insulated tank that contains just water, and then we pump away some of the vapor with a, a vacuum pump. The simulation shows how much vapor we remove, but what we've done is cool down the liquid to freezing temperature, and then we start freezing some of the water and making ice. So as we pump away, as we do energy balance to supply energy for evaporation, we have to cool down and then solidify some of the water. So the simulation is located on the Learn Chemie site, as indicated here, and let's stop, switch over to the simulation. So the simulation here, we start with no water evaporated, and let's just increase the amount. You can see we're forming vapor, and we're lowering the temperature. And once we get to zero, and we're continuing to remove vapor, now we start forming solid, and we will stop the simulation when we have almost no liquid left. You can see we form significant amount of solid, of course, the heat of vaporization is large compared to the heat of solidification, heat of fusion. The result, we remove a small amount of vapor compared to how much ice is formed. Well, the simulation has details of the equations that are important for this simulation and directions on how to use it. And the idea is you can hit play and then watch it and you can pause it any time. So the main objective is to be able to apply an energy balance to a steady state system and understand how the phase change is affecting what equilibrium conditions exist.